All right, let's try to finish up section 4.1. And uh, so the last thing we said that the triangle, what are the angles, how many angles, um, let me say it this way. What's the sum of the angles of a triangle? 180 degrees, good. All right, so uh, let's do a little bit more with that. So I'm going to make a right triangle. All right, we'll call this A, B, and C, all right? So obviously, how many degrees is angle A? 90 degrees. So tell me something about B and C. Do they necessarily equal each other? They are acute. Very good. Okay, they are acute. Say it. it um, they add up to 90 degrees. Exactly right. So when you have a right triangle, the other two acute angles, that angle right there and that angle right there, they add up to 90 degrees. So angle B plus angle C equals what? 90 degrees. All right, so that's kind of important to know. Everybody with me on that? Yeah, because 180 altogether, right? If you take away angle A, what's left over? 90. So B and C add up to 90. Does that mean they're both 45? Does it mean they're both equal to each other? No, not necessarily. I mean, there's times where that could be true, but not in general, okay? But in general, all the time, actually, not just in general, but all the time, uh, B and C would add up to 90 degrees. You with me? So if this was 30 degrees, just do one little math problem to tell me what angle B is. It's 60. What math did you do? Yeah, you just went 90 minus 30, correct? All right, and so that would be 60 degrees. Simple. All right, if you think of it, let me know. All right, let's do another one. I think we talked about this. Uh, let me make it a triangle. This right here is an equiangular triangle. What does that mean if I said it's equiangular? Equiangular? All, all, all the angles are equal. Now, you would be right, though. When you said all the sides are equal, that technically is right. But just the nature of the question, if it's equiangular, that means all the angles are equal. So uh, let's do, mm. all right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's call this x degrees. Now, if I told you this was equi equiangular, what would this angle down here be? x degrees. What would this angle right here be? x degrees. Okay. Now, remember what happens to all three angles of a triangle. They add up to 180. So add up all those angles. What do they add up to be? Yeah, that's true, but just add the x, the x, and the x. What is that? 3x. Right. So 3x. I added up all the angles, correct? What should they add up to be? 180. So let's find each of the angles then. All right. So I divide by 3, divide by 3. What is x? 60 degrees. So anytime you have an equiangular triangle, Every angle inside there is what? 60 degrees. Doesn't matter that the triangle is bigger or smaller. Doesn't make any difference, okay? I could have a little tiny teeny triangle, all right? Let's do a little tiny teeny triangle. Because it has, the size of the triangle has nothing to do with the measures of the angles. I'll just keep that there. Now let's do this. So look, I'll just zoom in on it a little bit. So it's still equiangular, isn't it? It's just little tiny triangle now, okay? But still, these are all, ooh, my. It's because my pen, it's one point and I zoomed up so much it makes it really small. But you get the idea, right? So it doesn't matter how big the triangle is, how small the triangle is, if it's equiangular, if all three angles are exactly the same, that means that all three angles equal what? 60 degrees, good. Well, let's go back to this. Everybody okay with that? All righty. Um, let's do this. Let's compare two different triangles. Let's just, it doesn't have to be any kind of special triangle. Um, I'm just going to 
Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Uh, seems like a, every time I draw one, I either draw a right triangle or equal or a isosceles triangle, but um, that's good enough. Uh, nah, it's not good enough. <laughs> Let's do this again. Sorry. It doesn't make any difference, actually. It doesn't matter at all what this triangle looks like. Yeah, it looks a little bit better compared to what I wanted. All right, so copy, paste. Now what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to twist it a little bit. Is that all right? That's all, I, that's all I'm going to do with that. So if I call this A, B, C, I'm going to call this one. Where's the A here? Is it the left one, the bottom one, or the right one? I twisted it around, didn't I? Isn't it this one? Yep, so this would be what? We'll call this X, and then this would be the next one, correct? Call that Z. I don't know why I did it that way, but that's okay. I'll call this Y. All right, so let's say we have two triangles like this. And if I told you, let's change colors here. If I told you that angle A was equal to angle X, and if I told you that an angle, hmm, yeah, let's do this one, angle C is equal to angle Y. Okay? Everybody with me on that? So I got two different triangles. Okay, they're not the same triangle, but they're two different triangles. And I told you that two angles of one triangle equals two angles of the other triangle. Tell me something about angle B and angle Z. They're equal to each other, that's right. Because, why? What's the logic behind it? Well, according to what we just talked about, we talked, we've been talking about the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180, correct? So whatever this adds up to be, I don't know. How do you find this one? What if this added up to be 100, all right? What if angle A and angle B, then what would this be? It'd be 80, right? Because you did what? You went 180 minus whatever that sum was, 100, agreed? And that would be 80. Well, if these two are the same as these two, what do these two add up to be? 100. And how do we find the third angle? We go 180 minus what? 100, which is 80. Do you see that? So if you have two triangles and they told you that two of the angles on one triangle were equal to two angles on the other triangle, that means what do we know about the third angle? We know that those are going to be equal as well. All right, so let's say it was given. See, all the stuff in red, it was given. What could I say about angle B? Angle B would be equal to what? Angle Z. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, because we're taking them both away from 180. If we take the same exact thing away from 180, we're left with the same exact thing, aren't we? Yep. All right, so that's not too bad, is it? What is it? I saw, it's not, no, it's not necessarily. I, it's just any, again, this works with any triangle, okay? It doesn't have to be a right triangle. It doesn't have to be obtuse. This one kind of looks obtuse. I don't know. It kind of looks right, doesn't it? A little bit. But um, it, it doesn't matter what kind of triangle, right? If I know that two angles of one triangle equals two angles of another triangle, then automatically I know those third angles have got to be equal to each other. Everybody good? You ready for an example? I think we are. All right, so make sure you draw this. So this kind of looks like that. This looks like this and this. And then um Yeah, let's say it goes right there. Okay, let's pay attention. All right, if you're drawing this stuff, you shouldn't be talking and all that stuff. You should be writing. 
thinking about what I'm going to ask, what I'm going to give. Okay. Call this angle one, angle two, angle three. And that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find angle one, two, and three. Shouldn't be that hard. Well, let's just sit and think about it for a second. Which one do you think would be, actually, it's really the only one that you could find. No, that's not true. It's the easiest one. It's not the only one that you could find at first, but it's the easiest one. Angle one. Angle one's the easiest one. So what would you do? What math would you do to figure out what angle one was? Well, it's one big triangle. This is another triangle. This is another triangle. So there's three triangles here. That's it. Okay. So look, if I found angle one, angle one is really not part of this second triangle over here, is it? It's really not part of the whole big triangle. It's just this one on the left-hand side, we'll call it. Okay. So look what I got. I got two angles that I know. So I can always find the third angle, correct? So I could add these up. What's 60 and 36? 96, and what do I do with that to find angle 1? Take it away from 180. All right, and that's what, 84 you said? Okay, so angle 1 is 84 degrees. From that, I could find angle 2 pretty easy. What do you think? You said what? Nope. They're supplementary. Good. I like that. It's a word I didn't expect you to say, but I'm glad you did. All right. So these are supplementary. Why? Because they form a, what kind of an angle? Straight angle. That's right. They form a straight line or a straight angle. How many degrees is a straight angle? 180 degrees. So what do I do to find angle two? That's it. So 180 minus what? 84. And that happens to be what? 96, right? 96. Right, because you got to borrow from the 8, right? That's a 7, right? 17 minus 8 is 9. All right, that's kind of cool, isn't it? All right. Now, there's going to be, I don't know when, is it here? It is here. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure pretty soon they're going to show you something. I, I'm not going to get to it just right now, but I want you to think about it. Didn't I see a 96 earlier? What was 96? It was this 36 what? Plus the 60. So we're going to talk about it here in a minute after we finish this example. I just want you to see ahead a little bit. All right. So how could you find angle 2? We said angle 2 was 96, right? We could have found this angle and then taken it away from 180 to get that, to get 96, or we could have done what? Just take these two angles right here and add them up, and that's that angle right there. We'll talk about it in a minute, okay? But I just want you to see ahead. I just want you to start thinking about it a little bit, okay? So this is what? 96. So now how can we find angle 3? To get angle 3? Okay, you could do that. You could go 36 and 60 plus the 45, right? Oh, I see what you're doing. You're going this 96. And that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what I would do. I was just, I thought, I don't know why. Okay, but you're absolutely right. You take this 96 and this 45, add them up. 141. Okay, and then uh, what do you do with that 141? That's right, 180 minus, whoops, 141, and that would give you what, 39? And that angle right there is 39 degrees. And now we found them all. Does that make sense? Yeah, not too bad. That's, you're going to be doing a ton of that kind of stuff in this chapter and really a lot of through the rest of the book. Just be looking at a figure, they give you some angles, 
uh, eventually they'll be giving you some sides and stuff like that. And you're going to have to find the missing stuff. That's what geometry is all about. Okay, They give you stuff. You have to think about what's equal to each other, what adds up to be this. And then you got to just figure out what you do with it. You do your math and bang, you got your answer. That's really geometry in a nutshell. Okay. Now, remember this part right here, because we're going to talk about it right now. Did you have a question? Go ahead. I mean, Pat, right past. So um, remember this and this right here? Yeah? Let's talk about that a second. So let's do it a little bit easier. Um, Go. All right, draw this. Here we go. Draw this. There it is right there. So draw that. It's a triangle, but then you just took one of the sides, you extended it out a little bit. All right. All right, let's uh, put some numbers in here. Let's make this angle one, angle two, angle three, and this one. Do you see this angle on the outside of the triangle? We're going to call that angle four. All right. Now, since it's outside the triangle, we've used this word a couple occasions so far this year, and it's not alternate anything. It's not parallel lines cut by transversal. We don't have that. But say it, Gianna, you said it. Exterior, right. It's an exterior angle. Okay. So I'll just put EXT. Is that all right? Exterior angle. What are angles one, two, and three? They're inside the triangle. So what would we call them? Interior angles. Okay. Now I want you to specifically look at angle two and three. See how one is right next to the four? Everybody see that? Angle two is kind of far away from the exterior. Do you see it? And angle three is further away from the exterior angle. This one's right next to it, okay? But these are further away. So this one and this one, since they're further away, we call them remote interior angles. Because they're far away. Like if somebody said, man, I live in a remote part of the country. What does that mean? Do they live in the middle of a big city? No, what does it mean? Yeah, far away from everything, right? So remote means far away. Like the remote control to your TV. Why do they call it a remote? Because you can be far away from your TV and click on the TV. Back when I was your age, that's why. Okay, back when I was your age, <laughs> long time ago, um, we didn't have remotes for our TVs. I remember a family friend of ours had the first remote I ever saw for the TV, and it was actually connected to the TV. There was a wire that would connect to the TV, but I thought it was the coolest thing. You could press these buttons and you didn't have to get up and walk over to the TV to change the channel because that's what we used to have to do. Isn't that horrible? Didn't I live in a terrible time? No, not really. That's right. And a lot of times if you're watching with your parents, then you became the remote control because your parents would say, oh, I don't like this. Turn to channel six or turn to channel 10. And you'd have to get up and walk over and click, click, click. You actually have to touch the TV weren't that many. I think it was like five or six when I was growing up. There was three, six, and 10, right? There's still channels today. Channel 12, that's still a channel today. And then there was channel 17. There was, I'm, I'm telling you, there was no Disney channel. These are the channels. Then there was channel 17, 29, and 48. And that was it. All right. Well, they had movies, they had Disney movies, but there was no cable back then. Everything was from an antenna, so there was no cable. What and it, it would. It, well, sometimes it would blow over and it wouldn't work, right, or something like that. Anyway, so remote. Remote means you're far away from something, okay? So what are these two angles? They're remote. Why are they remote? Because they are what? Far away from the angle four. Everybody got it? So here's a little theorem, and it says 
I tell you what, let's do this. What's true about, I, this is kind of like a little proof. Remember I say we're not really going to do proofs in here, and you should be very grateful for that. Um, I still wonder if I'm making the right decision by doing that or not, but all right. So what's true about one and four? They form a straight line. We already talked about that today. So what can I say about one and four? What could I do with one and four? They add up to be 180, correct? Yeah? All right, what about angles one, two, and three? What do they do? They add up to 180. So let's write that down. Angle one plus angle two plus angle three. What is that? 180. Did we talk about this yesterday? If this equals 180 and this equals 180, what must be true about this stuff and this stuff? They must equal what? No, no numbers, no number. They equal each other, that's right. They're equal to each other. Everybody see that? So if they that equals 180 and this equals 180, then these two are equal what? To each other, so let's do that. So angle one plus angle four equals what? Angle one plus angle two plus angle three. Everybody got it? So watch this, this is the big reveal. Everybody ready? Drum roll please. Look, I've got angle one on one side, angle one on the other side. So what can I do? I could subtract them both. They cancel each other out. So angle four equals angle two plus angle three. Everybody see that? Angle four equals angle two plus angle three. And that is the big reveal right there. And that should make sense. So angle four is the what? The exterior angle. Angle two and three are the what? Remote interior angles. So we have a theorem, right? It's a rule, R-U-L-E. It's a rule that tells us stuff in geometry, okay? And it can be proven, and we kind of just did in a way we proved it, um, that the exterior angle is equal to, listen to what I'm going to say, is equal to the sum. What does that mean? Add up, right. The total when you add them up, okay? So the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. You hear me? Let's write that down. It's important because we're going to use it quite a bit. So the exterior, I'll shorten some words here though. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the what? The two remote interior angles. Okay? And that's really important right there. Okay, that's what we're going to use. And we've actually already seen it. We've seen it right here. Check this out. I'll just put this in red. I'm just going to draw this by hand. It might not be all that straight, but it's okay. See that triangle right here? See that triangle? If I took this side and I extended it out, what is, forget all this other stuff. Forget this, forget that. Okay, forget that. I just made everything way too messy, didn't I? What is this compared to these two? Those right there. This is a what? That's an exterior angle, isn't it? What are these two angles right here? Interior, remote interior angles, right. So how, do I, how could I find that? If I just add my two remote interior angles, that's always going to be that exterior angle. Look at this. Look at 84. Look at the other triangle. I should have done this in a different color. See that triangle right there? Okay, 84 is what to this triangle? It's an exterior angle, isn't it? See how it's outside this triangle right here? Okay, here's two remote interior angles. So this thing should equal what? 45 plus 39. What is 45 plus 39? It's 84. See how it works? All right, so it just makes life a little bit easier for us. Yeah, it's got to be extension of that side, okay? The exterior angle is always one of the sides extended, okay? So that's what we mean by the exterior angle, okay? So it does have to go straight out like this. So it's outside the triangle. I could have extended this side right here, couldn't I? And you, you'd have an exterior angle. We good? Let's do an example 
That's not quite as easy as the other one. We're going to do a little bit of algebra on this one. And you just have to get used to it because you're going to be doing a lot of algebra in geometry class. So it looks the same. It's still a triangle with an exterior angle, so the picture is really not any different. It's just the stuff that they give you. All right. And so they tell you... Um, they tell you this is 64 degrees. They tell you this is 5x plus 3 degrees. 5x plus 3 degrees. And they tell you this exterior one, the one on the outside, is 13x minus 5 degrees. It's 13. This is 13. 13x. 5x plus 3. This is just 5x plus 3, that's 64, this is 13x minus 5, okay? So what we want to do is we want to find all of the angles. I want to find them all. Let's find this one, this one, this one, and this one. So how do we set it up? It's set up perfect for us from what we just learned. We just finished learning it. So the exterior angle is equal to what? The sum of the two remote interior angles, correct? So which one's the exterior angle? That's it, 13x minus 5. And that's equal to what? Well, let's do the x first. 5x plus 3, what? Plus, good, 64. Everybody see that? All right, so the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. And now what do we do? Just solve for x. So let's do that. Subtract 5x from both sides. Let's add a 5 to both sides, add a 5 to that, that cancels, that cancels, what's that, 8, is that right, 8x? Uh, let's do this, 64 plus 3 is what, 67 plus 5 is 72, right, and then divide by 8, x is what, 9. Is that my answer? Do I quit? Do I go on to the next one? No, because they're asking for the, the angles. They're asking for all the angles. Let's find this one first, okay? It's 5x plus 3. So instead of 5x, what are we going to write? 5 times 9. We just plug it in, right? We found x and we plug it in. Plus 3. And what's that? 45 plus 3, which is 48, and that's in degrees. So this angle right there is 48 degrees. How could I find this exterior angle without plugging in a 9? Because 13 times 9, I don't know what that is. I could just do what? Exactly right. Okay, I could find this exterior angle just by adding these two up. I already know this is 48. I know that's 64. So 64 plus 48. And what is that? 12? Yeah, 112, 112. All right, so that's what this angle is right there. It's 112. <coughs> How would I find this? I don't think they even ask for that in this, but we can find it. How would you find that angle right there? That's exactly what I would do, okay? It forms a straight line right here. Everybody see that? That pops up a lot throughout the whole entire book when you get two angles that form a straight line. So always look for that. All right, and if they add up to 180, so what do we do? 180 what? Minus 112, what's that, 68? All right, so this angle right here is 68 degrees. And look, we found everything, didn't we? It's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's better than, I think it's better than algebra because algebra, they just give you this and you just solve for x and you're like, yeah, whatever, okay? but. This, you actually had to figure out that equation. You just had to know the relationship that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles, and then you could do your algebra. I like doing algebra. I, nothing against algebra. I like it. But um, it's kind of cool that you see how it can be used, all right? And that's exactly what's going on here. It's not so bad, is it? No. Nah. All right, let's do a homework. I haven't given you homework in a while, have I? Seems like. 
two days ago? That's been a while then. Well, this is section 4.1, so I haven't given you homework in a long time. Since before the test, right? So, section 4.1. You got an extra day. Can't complain about that. Pages 151. Oh, well. Now you got something to do. Is this what's on the lesson plan? Yeah. Okay. All right, there you go. Yes. Yes. Oh, did you find it? Okay, show it to me before you leave. All right, that's due on Monday, okay? So you've got, what, 10 minutes, 12 minutes? You can work on it.